In this video, we will create a 3D hull from a two-dimensional frame in just a few clicks. For this, we use some very helpful functions in RFM. First, let's change the grid to the XY plane. Next, let's select the entire frame and then click the move and copy button. The new dialog box is similar to the mirror dialog box. Since we would like to make three copies of the frame, we first select the create copy checkbox and then set the number to three. The distance between the copied frames are 15 feet each in the opposite y direction, so enter the corresponding displacement vector. RFM also allows us to create members, surfaces, or solids between the copied nodes. Thus, when copying the frames, we can also enter the purlins. To do this, we go to the Numbering and Options tab and activate the Linked Steps option. In the new tab, we can now select which element we would like to connect the copied nodes with. We click Link Nodes with Member and create a new member. The new member dialog box should be familiar by now. This time we select the truss member type for the purlins. Trusses are beams that have hinges on both member ends, thus no moments are transferred. In the sections tab, we import a standardized round HSS 6.625 by 0.312 section from the library. We use filters again to limit the selection in order to find the desired one more easily. We make sure that the correct material is selected and confirm all windows by clicking OK. The section is taken over and a 3D hall will be created now from a two-dimensional frame. The, stif the stiffening members at the start of the taper are superfluous, so we delete them. We can simply select them from left to right by holding the control key. and then we can hit the delete key. Next, we use the same function to generate the gable frame. We select the two nodes on the side of the purlin on the outer frame while holding down the control key on the keyboard. Now let's click move and copy again, and this time set the number of copies to one. Since we do not know exactly what the distance is from the two nodes to the ground, we use a helpful function of RFM. We click on the mouse symbol in the displacement vector area. Then we first select the node to be copied and then the target point to which it is to be copied. In our case, we select any node on a column base as the target point. The displacement vectors are automatically adopted in the dialog box, and we set the irrelevant coordinates to zero so that the nodes are copied vertically downwards. We confirm the data in the dialog box by clicking OK to execute the command. Now I will show you how to change existing members in the structural analysis model. Since we activated the link steps function earlier, the two internal columns created have the same properties as the purlins. To change the column types, sections, and other properties of existing members, we select them by double-clicking any of the selected members to open the Edit dialog box. 
In our case, we select the beam type for the gable columns and import a standardized HP 8x36 section from the section library. We also activate a rotation of the members by 90 degrees. After closing this dialog box, the selected members will be changed. The next video continues with the bracings. Thanks for watching and until next time.